Dude, what camera do we look at? Whatever camera you want. <laughs> Whatever camera you want to look at. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready when you are. Go ahead and do your thing. One more thing, one more thing. Yeah, yeah. Camera. Yep. This is the behind the scenes stuff you guys don't get to see. Content creation problems. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome oh. back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the homie Dunks or Nice's top 10 Nike Dunks. What's going on everybody? None other than your boy Rolo, Dunks or Nice, as Alex mentioned. These are my top Nike Dunks in my collection. And just to put it out there, I don't have a lot of the dunks that you may be thinking about, but of course, with doing any top tier list of anything, it's always subjective. So I'm just gonna go and put that out there. But of course, if you haven't yet, comment, like, and subscribe, and you already know what's good, let's get right into it. So I have all the labels here, or actually I have all the shoes here to my left, and they're the labels facing the left. So Alex doesn't know what shoe is what, and I basically said, whatever you wanna pick out, go in and pick it out. So I have, the honorable mention ones, that's not gonna be in this list, but I had to have them here just because of that emotional attachment and stuff. And then we have the actual top 10 dunks in my collection. So I'll give you this one to start things oh, off. Okay, okay. Honorable mentions first. Yeah. This one, you recently did a video, but you'll okay, see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I open this, I just wanna say there's two cameras here, okay? So <laughs> we might be like bouncing back and forth. It, yeah, it's well, good. There's, there's multiple <laughs> cameras. So yeah. So we got a pink box here from the pink box series era. So this is a solid era right here. Yeah, look at the box, how it's all like. <laughs> I like I like how it fades in the gradient. <laughs> and then when you uh, lift the uh, the lid, it, then it's gonna show like how pink it is. So ah. each of my shoes, this is something that I usually do. It kind of has it like who sold to me the day and whatnot. And I and back in the day, Nike did the black uh like tissue or the however they did it so that's kind of where this come from it kind of bl blocks oh, wow. the uh, uv ray so <laughs> you you go like extra ham uh, when it goes to packaging uh yeah whoa yeah so these are fragile so most of the fragile shoes have a plastic uh, these have these have been uh conditioned they've been worn so all my shoes they all been worn unless stated but yeah of course these had to make it dude the tiffany Nike SB Dunk Lows. This is like oh. honorable. This and then uh, if you guys hear dog <laughs> noises, it's Alex's dog, a Corgi, <laughs> Butters. So if you hear barking, growling, oh. like there, so. There you go. There, there you, you go. go. <laughs> yeah. So this has, so pretty much all the shoes have the original box, tissue, and the laces. I know you had that crispy, crispy, mm 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 pair. This so, is really crispy though. Yeah. Like you don't even have any of the swoosh. So it's, or... um, there's some that's kind of like fraying slash a little peeling bit, a little bit, but. These are pretty um, clean though. Yeah. Beautiful shoe right yeah. here, a classic. I think you uh, generally Ooh. like these a lot. So I was like, all right, let's just start off with no, a little, I love little, these. little bang, you know? This is a solid yeah, one. Yeah. This is a, uh, I'll give you this one. All right. Older box right here, <laughs> gray stripe, brown, orange. I don't even know what you these know are, the, okay. bro. <laughs> <laughs> so these what? butters. Come on. <laughs> so these are from 2001. Oh, this is a Susi <laughs> and Nike Dunk collaboration. Uh, unfortunately, because of like through age and time, it's like the same leather on the uh, sock liner, but this is like all premium leather sneakers, like one of the uh, first collaborations that Stussy did. So the laces are a little bit more skinny, thin, mm -hmm. that gray. Um, I just like this shoe overall, kind of more of like a simple person. So not a lot of people will like this, but this is kind of like uh, one of their first few collaborations. I've never seen these. Yeah, there's a brown version with ostrich uh, leather. Okay. So it's kind of like experience. So yeah. This, this one's is a solid a, pair. It's like a sleeper pair for sure. Yeah. Cause it just looks like a normal Nike Dunk high until you look at it and you see like that snake skin or I don't know what this is. It's like a reptile snake skin yeah. in a thing, but this is from 2001. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. I've never seen these before. Yeah. The last honorable mention uh, sneaker is, uh, it's like a, it's a, the whole entire set. All right, which one do you want to unreveal first? You read <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Do Dude, you know the history or know about this shoe? I don't know too much about it, but I do remember seeing these before, but I've never seen it up close, like in person like this. Yeah. It's always been through like pictures or online, yeah. but I've never seen these in person. But break this down for us because these are older <clears throat> for sure. So my first Nike SB was the Hemp's. Okay. Which is the Mahogany's, which is in one of these other boxes. Um, this is the 
more limited one there. So this is released, I believe on April 20th, AKA 420. 420 yeah. There's only 420 pairs in the world apparently for this one. Whoa. So this one was always the expensive, like more sought after uh, compared to these two. So like you'll see, pop you'll these see open. I, yeah, yeah, go ahead and pop these. Yeah. So then we have the Cascade Blue. I know this one's the more common one, right? Yeah. I'll talk about this one just in a little bit. Okay. And then, and we're then this was this my one. first SB. Like in this colorway. This is the one where I was like, I like SBs. I like the exclusivity. I want more of whatever this is. This is your very first SB? This this one specifically, the Mahogany really? Hemp. So okay, like that okay. maroon, you can kind of see it here. You know what I mean? So over the course of time, if you look at this, it has kind of like uh, yellow spots, aka like little, mm. I guess, mold or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's actually a hemp material. You can open this. It's like like a like a package. All right. Small boxes. What could it be? Oh wait, I know what it is. So uh, it's dude, the these are baby so cute. Pair. Yeah, it's like the like it's it's really cute. You know what I mean? Like when you see it in person, you're like, whoa. These are like really harder to find now, and they've really became more expensive than ever. These ones. Yes. This pair, the the baby pair, the, the blue one, um, they made that in a, obviously men's sizes like this, right? right? They never did it in the pink one. Oh, okay. So you only can get so, it in like toddler sizes. It's pink, it's cute, it's like, dude. So this is the entire set of the hemp series. This set, the Tiffs, and then the Stussy, the Kaisers is like the armor one. So these don't make it on the <laughs> okay. list. These are just so kind of like, yeah. For the people that don't know, how long have you been collecting for? Uh, more than 10 years. More than, more than 10, 10 years. Yes. Well, I know you have a lot of heat and I know you brought some other stuff. Yes. So let's go ahead and check those out. Okay. This is fire right here. Okay, so those are all my honorable mention ones. Again, like I stated, I have 10 shoes here that made my list out of like 100 plus shoes. Put the label this way so you don't know. So I'm gonna let you pick on these. Let's start with the purple. The, the uh, uh, th this one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whenever I see this box, it either reminds me of like, Dino Juniors or Purple Pigeons, but I gotta you you uh, this one I'll bring some context to it. So. Okay, okay, for so sure. So let me just uh, okay, you're good, you're good. So you don't have to see the what it is. All right, let's check these out. Let's see what we got. I might know what this is. Ah, yes, <laughs> yes, I do know so, what this is. Uh, if you guys know, the Paris SB is probably one of the most sought after Nike SBs. That shoe is too expensive. And number two is just like, I feel it's a price that I can never pay. It's For a shoe, a, yeah, that's like It's insane. like $100,000 or two, whatever the price is, it's a six digit figure and I just, I came to terms I'm not gonna pay that price. So I just decided to make my custom. So this is one I did back in 2016. I used a Neptune SB uh, base. I remember when you did this, this custom, you did the full video on YouTube and yeah. I was like, bro, how is he gonna do all the details? But like, I, you Nowadays doing dude. customs is you easier than ever, but I was like, if I'm gonna make something, I'm gonna make it where I'm just gonna go and do it. So I rocked it a few times. So shout out to my homie, Derek, DK Nomadic. I had the actual pair at the time, you know, it's great. Now that I think about it, I'm like, yeah, I really had the real pair in my hand. And I basically replicated or put my own touches to it. The Paris SBs are like the, uh, the canvas material, right? So it's like right, right. not as saturated. I was like, I want mine more to pop. Yeah, these are like super detailed. How long did it take you to do this? too long. <laughs> you don't have to spend over a hundred grand for a pair of I shoes mean, to you know. You know, enjoy it. So this is super nice. I also have the link to his custom video link down below if you guys want to check that out. Make sure you check it out because this is a lot of work and oh, the sorry. way you filmed it, bro. Uh, younger Rolo, a little, little <laughs> different than <laughs> younger. <laughs> for these boxes, oh. I might not know what it is. I, I probably, okay, we'll see. I'll just turn up this way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I know what these are. Oh, this is uh, spicy, this spicy. Is, uh, getting spicy over here. Yeah. Denim uh, Reese, Reese Forbes, uh, Dunk Lows. There's only 444 in the world, or Club 444, as they would mention. Probably my most expensive SP. How much are these going for now? I remember uh, they were today's before, but... world, it's like $10,000 or more. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe it could re I've seen pairs like 20 to 30. Really? But realistically, this is like over ten ten thousand dollars now. I, I these wear are these. really crispy. I still wear these. A hundred percent stars. Yeah. Too. All right, you wanna go to you wanna do the left side? Yeah, we'll to, just do uh, the left. We'll work. Okay. This this top five. Top, top five. Top 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 five. Top five. Okay. Top five. <laughs> 
I think you know what it is. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this. The uncles. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. I used to have a sign, sign box. That stock oh, pair. Oh <laughs> man. But these are beautiful. These, I think the moment I saw these, I was like, dude, I want these so bad. This to me is like what screams Nike SB. Like exclusivity, the collaboration, the design, the colors and everything. This stuff you wouldn't find like really anywhere. Right. But this is what I think about like a Nike SB to me is. You look at these, you're like, dude, what is that? What's on that shoe? It, you know, it speaks volumes to you. So this is like my top five instantly. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know too much about these. It's all good. So you good. let me know. Yeah, so uh, these released in 2004, Silver Box series. Uh, probably one of the hardest SBs to ever keep clean. Uh, suede, predominantly on the uppers. The color blocking on this with like that sea crystal color, that teal aqua on the upper. And then um, this one, I cleaned and I kind of like somewhat conditioned it. I have another pair in my size that is rock all the time, but right. this is one I want to keep clean. This one is just my top five also. Is like, it because a, of the color or is it because of yeah. the materials? Uh, like this is like one of my favorite colors. So that, that instantly like, I gravitated right. towards it. I was like, yo, I really love that color a lot. Are we done with that stack? Are we done with the left stack? Yeah, we got six left. Ah. <laughs> Top five. Okay. Top, when I say top five. Top five. Yeah. So the box is in the best condition. It's an orange box. It's okay. I call it like, you know, curiosity because you're like, what is this, what's in this orange <laughs> box now, huh? Oh, the flashes. Yes. Bro, I haven't seen these in so long. Dude, this is top five. The first time I saw it, I was like, dude, I want that shoe bad. And I don't even know why. I was like, it was just one of the shoes like, I, it's just something with this color combination, the black and orange, that work well. Maybe just cause like we're from the Bay yeah, Area. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That's it's very probably like Bay why Area. If this release, you know, maybe a few years ago or in today. Right. Probably not like, eh, it's, it's but it, you know, has that poofy tongue. Right. Most of the older SBs or whatever, they have a color insole. So mm -hmm. this is blue, the Hulks had a different color insole. Like the Sharks and Lodens, they all had different color. So this is that orange box series with like that nice poofy tongue. Super soft so, new yeah, box. So. I remember these were on my list of shoes to get back when I was in high school. Yeah. And I kind of pushed it off to the side because I was like, it's... I don't know if I'm going to wear an orange and black shoe. Yeah. And then I looked at the price and now we're just like a couple years after that, bro, it like shot up to an insane price that yeah. I'm, not, I'm not willing to pay that, but these are nice. And I, I do remember these back in the day. Mm. <laughs> Mm. I've seen the newer pair of these. Yes. But I haven't seen this pair. Okay. These were released in 1999. These are the UNLV. Um, some people reference these as the Ultraman uh, from Japan because of the color blocking of it. Ah. Um, there's a low version, but I prefer I, I something with the highs. I don't know what it is. I love block the color blocking like this. Simple, but it's just, it's nice. So that's kind of like right. how I reference like my name. Uh, it's just, just nice in general. So, these are something that um, that I just like in general. Very simple, very nice looking, but there's just something about it that I can't really put into words. You just look at it, you're like, I just really like these a lot. This one is probably gonna play the same story. So a lot of these like kind of kickstarted off for me. Like these color block and these kind of things. I was like, yo, yeah, this one. This one, this one right here. This is more of like, if you know, if you know, but you, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. Um, when, when you see it? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. So this released in 1999 also. Uh, it's the City Attack in the purple colorway. There's a reverse one where it's like purple here and white here. This was like really sought after back then and this is one that she was like I, that I gravitated towards. I saw it firsthand, I was like, dude, I want these shoes so bad. This is one of the shoes that kind of like kickstarted for me. Not, nothing too crazy, nothing okay. too crazy. This was one of the first ones when I started collecting, I was like, I really, it's something with the color. That Remind me the name of these. This is the Takashi Espies, the first one. They did a second version, but this is the first one that they did. Um, this is just a clean and simple colorway. These feel the best out of all these shoes on my foot. Like this one, you could see how much time to rock these. Yeah. The gold, for whatever reason, turns green afterwards, just because of age, you can start kind of start seeing mm. it here. 
and it's like faded on the uh, the suede but whatever reason this is like one of the best leather that they ever did like it, it just feels the best on my foot like this feels really good and this is one of the first shoes that i was like what is nike sb these started popping off with colors and stuff i was like damn i really like this they did like a retro version but it's not the, not same. the same but this is like damn this actually feels like leather like it's yeah, not that plasticky yeah leather. nike dunk low pro black white gum so back then they had like two different labels before they transitioned to like the orange one but again this is one that's nothing too crazy oh. but this released in i believe in 99 this is grip tape grip slash tape. sandpaper i guess yeah grip i was tape. about to say it it feels like grip tape yeah and then you have your uh, mesh for your side panels and Whoa. then leather. So this is kind of like the birth of like how Nike is starting to transition to like SB. So this released in 99. Ah. And then they had other versions that released like there's five of them. There's a gray version, a white version. And I forgot the other two, but there's five. This is one of the five. This is like basically the birth of wow. the start of like Nike SB. The last one. Last one. I've been through multiple pairs of these. If oh. you know. Yeah. This is like... You it, wore these a lot. Yeah, so <laughs> this is the pair that... I didn't bring the clean pair. I have another pair. I didn't bring the clean okay. pair. I brought the pair that I rocked the hell out of. Okay. <laughs> so there's a reason why I brought this one. Okay. Why this one? Uh, this is the one I traveled the world with. So oh. this has been to Paris. This has been to Japan. This has been to New York, Florida, LA, uh, Canada. This is the shoe I will always bring just to travel. Why? Just cause like, I don't know. I just, I rock these all the time. Like you can even see in here at the sock liner stuff. Yeah. I was like- Mine was I'm, doing that too. Yeah. Um, but these are the Black Supreme Lows from 2002. Um, I prefer these over the uh, the True Blue Inspired, the white pair. No, this, this is the best pair by far. This, in my opinion, to me speaks volumes of like what Nike SB is. So this is like for me. It. You got the inspiration of the like the black cement threes. Yep. So I was like, dude, there's something about that, and I don't know. Like you could even see like like I said, the, heel I drag. the hell out of these black cement threes are like my favorite Jordan of all time, except like the Chicago ones. Mm -hmm. This is the one that like I still think is like, like I don't know how to say it, just kind of like a, mm, like this is that shoe to me. I miss my pair now. <laughs> <laughs> out of all these. Which one do you think that you would pick? Like for free? Like if somebody was giving it to me? Like let's say you just had an opportunity just to have them. Didn't matter how much it is, the matter right. size, whatever. Just that one I'd just be like, you know what? I'll take these. I think at the end of the day, even though I already have them, I'm going to gravitate towards the Tiffany's. Yeah. It's just, I don't know what it is about that shoe. It's just like maybe the color blocking or the history that I have behind it just wanting it so bad yeah as a kid and not being able to afford it until i work for months you mm -hmm. know like mow lawns and save the, up everything that led up to dude. get to the yeah. pair that's the one that i would yeah. always go back to yeah we are going to end the video right here again huge shout out to dunks are nice for showing us the top 10 Nike Dunks in his collection and the honorable mentions as well. Make sure you guys check out his channel, which will be linked down below and his Instagram. What's your Instagram? You already know, your boy Dunks are nice on all socials. He already did the outro. So with that being said, much love. As always, consider liking and subscribing and we'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Peace. Shh. One take. <laughs> <laughs>